Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Um, I'm just backtracking because I actually forgot to film the first part of the video. Um, we're just going to get straight into it and I hope you enjoy. See you at the end. So basically with a curly blow dry you actually want to sort of section your hair into where your parting is. So mine's in the middle. So if you can see that's mine. And then you might want to put some products. So I normally use the L'Oreal Paris one. So it's a heat protector to protect your hair when you're blow drying it. Also, this by Mark Hill. I just put a little bit and then sort of rub it in to give it a bit. So it's fresh and shampoo, sort of long hair it's good for. And if you're styling your hair as well, it's good for that. Um, so let's just go. And you just need to quickly brush it through because it does get quite um, hard on your hair sort of thing. But if you quickly brush it through, it should be okay. Um, and then you're better off just blow drying it a bit so it's not too wet. You don't want it too wet. You want it a bit wet but not too wet sort of thing. So I'm going to quickly do a time lapse of that and then I'll get back to you. So basically with a curly blow dry, you actually want to sort of section your hair into where your parting is. So mine's in the middle. So, if you can see that's mine, and then you might want to put some products, so I normally use the L'Oreal Paris one, so it's a heat protector to protect your hair when you're blow drying it, also this by Mark Hill, I just put a little bit and then sort of rub it in to give it a bit so it's fresh and shampoo, sort of long hair it's good for and if you're styling your hair as well it's good for that um, so let's just go and you just need to quickly brush it through because it does get quite um, hard on your hair sort of thing. But if you quickly brush it through, it should be okay. Um, and then you're better off just blow drying it a bit so it's not too wet. You don't want it too wet. You want it a bit wet but not too wet sort of thing. So I'm going to quickly do a time lapse of that and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so one side's actually done. You can see a few pieces have fallen out. But you can always literally just go over it. What I've sort of done is gone over a few of them to make them a bit more curlier. But the thing is, if you want to brush them out, I do advise you to put hairspray in before you do sort of do it. Because otherwise it's just going to drop. Um, it depends what sort of look you're going for, but I do prefer like a little bit of curl sort of on a night out. Um, but yeah, this is sort of the look. I'm going to quickly go over it um, and then I'm going to start the other side. My hair's getting quite dry. So the other thing is if you've got a bit of a spray or something to make it a little bit wet, I would advise you to make it a little bit wet because it's not, it won't go curly it's dry um yeah but i'm going quickly time lapse this and then get back to you so 
So guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I helped you a little bit with a blow dry. Um, any questions or anything you would like to see next then don't hesitate and ask. Also like and subscribe and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!